guys happy vlogmas day five we've done five videos so far so that is something to be celebrating this is my first time doing five freaking videos in a row so i am so excited but i have on my red pajamas because i'm about to go out to my friend's house to have a girls night in can you guess what we're doing can you guess what we're doing besides obviously wearing pajamas but can you guess what we're doing we are actually having a color theme night so i'm red and i'm supposed to be wearing red pajamas and bringing red snacks um to do like the little color theme that's been going around on tiktok so that's gonna be really really cute i'm really excited and just to have a chill night with the girls so yeah, I'm about to meet Leah, Jimmy, and this other girl, Morgan. I've only met her about, I think only one other time when I went to the picnic that um, Leah did in the beginning of the year around April. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go meet her again. And I know Leah and Jimmy, I've seen them multiple times, they're my girls. So yeah, we're about to have a girls night in together. I'm so excited. I just have to go pack my red snacks. I got red wine and a bunch of like red other snacks. So yeah, let's get ready to go. So my job is to bring all of the red snacks. So I have the red wine. This is a Stella Rosa. Um, Stella Rosso is the name of it. I haven't had this one, but hopefully it's good. Got some Doritos, Slim Jims, chocolates, Skittles, Sour Punch straws, and some Cheez-Its. That's all I picked up. I don't think they need anything else because they're all bringing other stuff. So I'm just going to pack it in this little basket and head out. <laughs> A couple days later you guys know i've been trying to post every day but it's been turned out to be every other day but we're gonna get back on the everyday thing so i hadn't posted yesterday because i was so caught up in finishing this book you guys know that i got this book probably in september and i really couldn't get into it for the longest time i don't know if it was the style of writing that i had to get used to or the plot or like the different third person talking 
um but i couldn't get into it for the longest time but as i got deeper into the book i like pushed myself to keep reading it because i really wanted to finish it because i saw that it was like just one of the most recommended books on book talk if you guys go on book talk <laughs> on tiktok for book recommendations called book talk or bookstagram if you go on instagram for that um but they have been recommending this book um it is by tia williams and it's called seven days in june and it she is a black author and clearly both of the main characters are a black couple um so basically what about the book made it so enticing so the book is basically about two authors who m were together in high school they met for seven days in high school they both had traumatic experiences growing up so the main character um Eva Mercy her mother was very like nonchalant she was always in and out of relationships she wasn't really there as a mother and then Shane he was a foster child but his foster parents ended up you know forgetting him as well um for reasons I'm not gonna spoil but they both struggled or he struggled with alcohol alcoholism and she struggles with um drugs so they kind of connected in a trauma bond type of way in high school and then he goes away so they don't see each other for 15 whole years and then they meet again at this book convention um and then it just starts from there basically but there's just so much that goes into it there's just so many like different storylines and a lot of heavy stuff so like i said they do alcoholism um they manage drugs attempted suicide absent mothers or nonchalant mothers just absent parents in general fostering um the death of a child like a lot of stuff a lot of heavy stuff is going on in this book but it is also a romance novel so it is a trauma bonding romance novel and it's so good so i highly recommend reading this I just cannot recommend it enough. If you guys like romance novels, then I would highly recommend this. Recommend this. It's not like a smutty, like slutty type of romance. It is just like a really sweet story about two star-crossed lovers who reconnect 15 years after they form this amazing connection and then they try to make things work or see what can happen. So check it out seven days in june by tia williams here's the actual cover it's actually a really cute cover they dream when me let your mind explode bed but I'm in a good mood I forgot to film my meeting but I just had a client meeting that I just finished and he was like send over the invoice send over the contract I'm ready so he wants to start as soon as possible um for January so he said I'm ready to pay today I'm ready to pay today and I love that so we just booked our next client I'm about to send over my oh my god Layla I'm about to send over my contract and the invoice and everything that I showed you guys that I was doing before. But yeah, the meeting went well, clearly. And now we have to do the actual work. <laughs> I'm excited. I need to put sales on my resume. Sales needs to go on my resume because I'm doing this. Feeling alone 